Okay, race 28. It's the Jim Morrison. Jim Harrison hurdle. It's over two mile five furlongs. And number one is Can Any Do That? Two is XL Ashkalani. Three, Gunnar Wellburn. Four, Judas Priest. Five, San, San Joachim. Six, Scooby Snacks. Seven, Wilfred. Eight is Miss Scotland. And nine is Zombie. So nine of them will go to post. And they're already away. Now there's two and a half, extended two and a half miles. Let's see who's going to take them along. And it's Can Any Do That? The rest of them might well be saying, can he nay do that? But it's can he do that is going to lead them. But just by a length, Zombie wants to have a little bit of the lead as well. Tries to draw alongside and thinks twice about it. So it's can he nay do that? From a few lengths back to Zombie and XL Ashkalani and Scooby Snacks are into the first. All over it. A couple of slow jumps by Wilfred and Gunner Wilburn at the rear. Got ten more to negotiate. And it's still can he nay do that? Happy to just bowl along in the front. The one that's just come out of the pack to take second on his own is Scooby Snacks. And on the outside now is Judas Priest. There's a wall of horses there. Judas Priest and Jochen, Zombie, XL Ashkelani, Wilfred and Miss Scotland. Well, there was a poor jump there this time by Zombie. Or was that Wilfred? Oh, confused. I think that was Zombie that was a poor jump and he himself into the rear. Clashing silks. And jump over the fourth. It's a fair pace, this. Can he do that? He's gone out there on his own. He's been followed through by Scooby Snacks and Miss Scotland. And then a length or so back to XL Ashkalani. And the stripy silks of Wilfred. And the outside of that is Judas Priest in the purple. And then we've got the San Yokan, Zombie and Gunner Wellburn together in the rear. And they take this next bend here at Newbury. The rain's cleared up. The ground remains good to soft. And it's still can they do that. Let's go down the little hill here. So can they do that from Scooby Snacks and Miss Scotland. XL Ashkalani just been driven along a little bit. Try to close the gap between third and fourth. Then we've got Wilfred and Zombie. And then Gunnar Wellburn, San Joachim. And Judas Priest bringing up the rear. So it's can they do that that still leads us. And he's going to be the first to take the next flight. From Scooby Snacks and Miss Scotland. All over that. The jumps jumping quite well, I have to say. Over the three days, it seems uh, a lot less fallers, well, certainly in the comment commentaries I have had, than years gone by. But it's still can they do that. From Scooby Snacks and Miss Scotland. And they're four ahead of San Joachim and Wilfred. And XL Ashkalani on the inside. Hits the rouse. Zombie. We'll jump over that. And Scotland was a little bit uh, tardy in the air. And the two just at the rear that are just three three lengths maybe off the back of the pack is Gunnar Wellburn and Judas Priest. So can you need do that advantage is cut down now just to well, just to a length but a slow jump uh, by Scooby Snacks. One of the rear Judas Priest hasn't done particularly well. But it's can you need do that by two to Scooby Snacks. Then we've got Miss Scotland, Zombie, Wilfred. XL Ashkalani, San Joachim in the White Silks, nearest to us. And just being followed through by Gunnar Wellburn and Judas Priest. So Scooby Snacks comes alongside Kenny Nee do that. And just noses in front. It's his turn. Jockey gives him a couple of couple of digs with his heels. And gets him two lengths ahead of Kenny Nee do that. Then you've got Miss Scotland and Zombie. And then Wilfred and XL Ashkalani. And Wilfred in the white. And San, oh sorry, San Joachim in the white. And there's Gunnar Wilburn and Judas Priest. So as they approach now, just less than five and a half furlongs to run. It's Scooby Snacks. He pushed along. Can he no do that? Jockey going to get the whip out. Try and keep him interested. Let's go Axel. XL Ashkelani's moved up into third. Then we've got Zombie Miss Scotland and Wilfred all just waiting to pounce. Here comes San Joachim. A good jump there by Scooby Snacks. But can he do that? Cuts his advantage down to just by half. But he's under a lot of pressure. Can he, can he no do that? On the outside here comes San Joachim and Miss Scotland. They're going to put pressure on for the front with just three furlongs to go and a couple left to negotiate. They're over the ninth. A poor jump there by Can he no do that? Demotes himself over into the back of the pack, but Scooby Snacks heads for home, being chased through by Miss Scotland, San Yokin, they're over the 10th, the penultimate, they've only got one left to 
negotiate. We've only got under two furlongs to run, and it's Scooby Snacks that leads by three to Miss Scotland. Zombie plugging on. Samuel King starting to go backwards. Can he do that? Still there. But Scooby Snacks has pulled away even further now from Miss Scotland in second. Zombies third. Samuel King and Can do that? Are battling out from fourth and fifth. But we've only got half a furlong left to run. Scooby Snacks is going to take this by a couple of lengths to the fast finishing Miss Scotland. Zombie just doesn't have anything left. Looks like Samuel King's going to get fourth, and Can he do that? That's fifth. Not a bad little run there. Everybody. Scoob Snacks for David Robertson. A good win there. I think that's a returning horse. Miss Scotland for Paul Rose was second. Third was Zombie for Joshua Sutherland. Four was San Joachim for D. Thompson. And fifth was Can he do that first? Mr. Gray. Well done, guys.